Welcome to the 2015 Georgia Barbecue Championship Awards Banquet. Before we get started, I'd like to kick things off with a blessing from our board member, Mr. Jeff Beach. Jeff? Let's pray together. Abba Father, we have so much to be grateful for. We give you thanks, Lord, for the safety you have provided, uh, for the beauty of this day, the sunshine, Lord, and the surroundings around us. Uh, we give you thanks, Lord, for the time and the talent of so many people in this room who have come together, and uh, Lord, who have competed, done well. Lord, we just celebrate uh, the time you've given us. Lord, we just ask that you continue to show us ways to give back to so many people who will go without. And so, Lord, it's with everything that we give you thanks for this time, this food, and just ask that you'll use this uh, food to nourish us so that we can see and serve you even more. It's in your Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Beach. Give you a little bit of an idea of what we're going to do with the program this evening. I'm going to go ahead and introduce our incoming board of directors. Uh, tell you a little bit about what's going on with GBC for the 2016 tour, what contests are going to be available. I will let you know what contests we're going to have entries up for auction at the end of the program. And then, of course, the Word to the sponsors. And uh, I'll be out of here like Danny Kugel when the check comes. <laughs> <laughs> so if any of you are thinking about spinning up a contest, <laughs> July is the time, even though it's hot in Georgia. So I'll go ahead and read down the list and let you know where you're going to be able to cook in the upcoming year. The first contest is Young Harris, Georgia, here at the Brasstown Winter Throwdown, which is already over. And the big points winners are Hickory Prime, Took Grand, I believe, and 270 Barbecue Reserve. Is that correct? Yes. So congratulations, Rachel. And those of you who grab some points got out early. That's smart. Uh, new contest, Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival in Lawrenceville. Organized by Mr. Jim Lloyd. That's March 4th and 5th. That's going to be held at the uh, Gwinnett Brave Stadium, so that ought to be a fun one. Uh, another one coming up March 11th and 12th, Flames on the Flint in Bainbridge. $50,000 to pay largest prize pool in KCBS in Georgia for the year. Um, that's going to be a heck of a show. Hopefully you all will make it. Calhoun Boogie and Blues returns on April 29th and 30th. Waynesboro, the Boss Hog Championship, May 13th and 14th. Evans, Papa Joe's, Banjo BQ, uh, May 27th and 28th. That is a $40,000 event. Little Town of U Harley, Covered Bridge Q, June 3rd and 4th. That's a contest I organized. We'd love to see you all there. Yeah, cool. Gillard Bluegrass and Barbecue, the oldest KCDS event in Georgia. This will be the 20th year, August 5th and 6th. Athens, Classic City Barbecue, uh, August 19th and 20th also returns. Busy week, busy month in August. Um, Kennesaw Pigs and Peaches, August 26th and 27th. The Lawrenceville Rock and Ribville is a new contest that's going to join us September 16th and 17th. A little bit of change to the schedule from what you're used to from this year. The Conyers contest, Smoking Bus and Tires, is relocated from the spring to the fall. Their date will be September 30th and October 1st of this year. On the th uh, 13th contest is going to be the Real Squeal and Lions, October 7th and 8th. And then the big air show, Rome Smoke and Thunder. Uh, the, the double double, the 29th and 30th of October. And we have both Mr. Scott Smith and Mr. John Cowman. So if you want information on that one, you're in the right place. Uh, new contest in Winder. Roaring Lion Smoking Barbecue will be held November 4th and 5th. This is probably a new one to most people on the schedule because we just ironed it out with them. It was previously known as Flags Are Flying in 2015. It is the Lions Club. Um, the location is going to be a winder. They're not sure exactly where. They're still working on it. 
And we finish out the season this year in Chatsworth with Smoking Up the Saddle Club, November 11th and 12th. So that's your complete board. You've got 17 to choose from. You only need five to be in the GBC money. So for the next five years, everybody told us how it wouldn't work. Thank you. In 2010, we launched the Georgia Barbecue Championship. At that time, we began with, I don't have the figure here, I, I want to say it was eight or ten contests. Was it that high, Jim? Even less than that? Yeah. Six or seven. Uh, and people continually told us it wasn't going to work. It wouldn't make any sense. Uh, here in 2015, we're now celebrating our sixth year. 302 teams participated in GBC events in 2015. And we completed our 501c3 filing to become a registered charity. We have become the boilerplate for other states. So now other states come to us and say, hey, we want to do something like you guys are doing. How do we do it? So for 2016 and on from here, from last year, we've lost two contests, but we picked up four. We're going to start pressing in a much more aggressive way on our Feed the Hungry campaign to help contests get extra food and generate food to go to their local food banks, homeless shelters, what have you. Because as we all know, waste is a real issue in competition barbecue. We're going to continue to support our member contest by making it, making it, giving the organizers more and more resources to bring more teams out, allow them to pay you more prize money, get more sponsors, entertain the public, all that good stuff, and hopefully increase the prize pool through growing our sponsor program. So, from a bunch of us standing in the field in 2005 with a crazy idea, um, six years later, we've I think proved up that the GBC is here to stay. It's an organization of organizers, four cooks, four judges, for all of us together. And if there's one message I can convey as I roll off the board and end my term is that judges, cooks, organizers, sponsors, we're all together. It's not us, them. We make it happen together. And as long as we all remember that, We'll keep this game thing going for a long time. Too. So, without further elocution, we're going to move on to our prize presentation. If I can get some help from the boys from Gainesville up here. <laughs> Mr. Bobby Brumley is delivering the cash. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Brass Town did everybody enjoy that meal tonight? Oh, yeah. I to go to the KCBS bank where you compare their buffet to what Bobby and Charles put on. I think we hit it out of the park. All right. We're going to start out as we always do with chicken. Remind you the GBC scoring system is you earn points just like you do with the KCBS team of the year. For every qualifying event you took over the year, your top five finishes are total. We do not differentiate from one contest to the next. For us GBC organizers, no contest is better than any other contest. So if you win my little contest in, in New Harley, it's going to be just as good as John Cowan's monster contest at the air show. Oh, you are. Well, yeah, you are. But the love is the same. <laughs> All right. For 2015, best barbecue teams in the state of Georgia. Team rankings for chicken. Tenth place, Wayland's Wickedly Good Q. About one of the Jim Berg is going to pick up for Wayland. Way to go, Jim! <laughs> For these, these uh, for 10 through 6, if you just stay up here, we'll take a group picture of all the, all those top 10s. Ninth place, Atlanta Barbecue Store. Boswell. You may be asleep. 
he was, he was cooking. Eighth place, Cuban Stewart and Bruin. Seventh place, Uncultured Swine. There she is. And sixth place, Old Plantation Barbecue. That's your six through ten finishers for 2015. Out of 305 teams, there's the best you can cook.
left me on make yet another mistake. Q and Stewart and Bruin was seventh place in ribs. So I'm Woo! 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 Get up there, get up there. You deliver. Oh, you deliver. Now we've got to bring it. Wave. Wave. <laughs> All right, Michael, where we work? Third. 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 Ribs. Third place, Ribs. Moyers, competition barbecue. <laughs> You actually give it to them, or are you just going to keep it? No, I want to put them in our store. <laughs> I give you one and one call. You can't leave the table. Seventh place in court. Hootie Cube, Sandy Austin. A self made man. He makes his trailer, he makes his cooker, he makes his barbecue. Grows his own floor. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, and sixth place to round out your six through ten is JB's Barbecue. <laughs> Whoa. Who's going to be first? Yeah. 
No, for next year, heavier duty stay. <laughs>
out every male. Tina Savage do. It's all about the ladies this year. Yeah. Here we go, girl. Oh, you go, girl. The number one Christian team is Miss Tina Cannon. Woo!
before we do the, uh, the, you know, the number one GBC champion of the year, I know how you cook teams are, and you all beat up the dust and tail lights after the game that. So I'd like to uh, recognize somebody who's been a, you know, a key part of this board for the past three years while I've been on it, who's kind of been the backbone, who's great with computers, we all know him. Um, Liz, you bring the trophy up here, but um, we'd like to recognize Gallon for everything he's done. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 